Okay, modified muskrat traps. Uh, kind of the progression of where I've gone with with, with we all we all know these ones. Uh, double set, foam on the bottom, 24 inches long, bulky, heavy. Uh, there's two two sets on them. We usually bait them with a carrot or parsnip. I like these. I love them. I use them all the time. But the problem with them is they're heavy. I can't fit a lot of them into a kayak or a canoe or into the calf sled. Or, so I, last year I decided, you know what, I'm going to make these smaller ones. Turns out they're just as heavy, they're tippy. Um, I got some muskrats out of them, but not tons. Talking with uh, our good buddy Gary, Gary Gobberson, he, uh, he led me onto these modified muskrat traps. They're 10 inches, 9 and 3 quarters wide, 2 feet long, got the 1 inch foam on the bottom. I put in two horseshoe. Uh, staples, and staples I guess they are, and these, uh, you're going to turn me onto these as well, kind of a nail with a plastic end on it, Dri drive them in from behind. I use these fiberglass rods to mark them, not only mark them, but to, to hold them in place. Uh, this new set I'm going to try this year with, uh, with just lure, lure on the, on the stick, and absolutely no bait whatsoever. I'm just going to pile up a little bit of uh, muskrat mitten. Or the from one of the push-ups, a bunch of that stuff, and see how that works. That's about it. Super light. They stack up nicely. You can probably take 24 of them out at a time instead of four or five. That's it. Here's a little pond that I use the trap in the winter time. You can see it's uh, it's not real big. It's actually I walked around the whole thing in about 10 minutes last night. Set two floating sets and a couple of colony traps and I can see both traps are missing off of this wooden set. I'm gonna try to video this as I go out. It throws over a little bit. Try to make this oh I didn't see I got one at least that's good. Two, two muskrats. It's a little mu messy here, but one nice, big, beautiful football muskrat. And then there's another one on this side. You can see the new colony traps or new floating sets are working out pretty darn good. There you go. Such a beautiful day today. Just wanted to let everyone know how we got rats drying on the way home. Little tip I got from Gary. <laughs> he'll throw he'll throw 50 or 60 of them up on his hood and drive home. <laughs>